worse and confident of forming new Sabah state government. Indonesia's Mount Merapi erupts, causing airport closure and flight cancellations. Hello there, good afternoon. I'm Cynthia Arthur. You're watching News on 2. Parti Warisan Sabah, led by Dato Suri Shafi Abdal as its president, has secured support from 35 assemblymen, including those from PKR, the AP, UPCO and AMNO in its bid to form a new government. The six assemblymen include four from AMNO, namely Sabatik Assemblymen, Dato Abdul Muiz Picho, Tanjung Batu Assemblymen, Dato Hamisa Samad, Kemabong Assemblymen, Jamawi Jafar, and Balung Assemblymen, Dato Osman Jamal. The remaining two are from UPCO, Kadamayan Assemblymen, Iwan Benedict, and Panginatan Assemblymen, Abidin Madingkir. During a press conference in his Kota Kinabalu home, Warisan President Dato Sri Muhammad Shafi Abdal said he predicts that more Sabah State Assemblymen will declare their support towards Warisan. According to him, the 35 Assemblymen from Warisan, PKR, DAP and BN have signed a declaration of support backing Dato Sri Muhammad Shafi to be chosen as the Sabah Chief Minister. He said the declaration of support has been presented to the Yang Di Pertuan Negeri, Tun Haji Juhar Haji Mahirudin, at Istana Negeri, Kota Kinabalu. In relation to that, Dato Sri Shafi asked all parties to respect Warisan's position in forming the Sabah government. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad said the federal government will investigate if there is any element of corruption in state assemblies and party hopping following the country's general election. Referring especially to the case of the Sabah state government formation, he said the government will investigate any evidence of manipulation and bribery to get certain people to cross over. There is evidence that there were some manipulation. For example, in the case of Sabah, initially Warisan won about 35 seats, but uh, the election commission kept on counting and recounting so as to reduce what is done to 29 seats. And there is an attempt to bribe or to uh, get uh, certain people to cross over using money. We regard this as corruption. We are not taking revenge, but there is a lot of uh, areas which are very grey, where people make use of money to buy support. That also is considered as corruption, as much as buying uh, members of the party to, in order to achieve majority. <laughs> when we find evidence that uh, the person won through corruption, we may request that uh, the, the, the election be invalidated. The two-time Premier said the government is not taking revenge but stressed that there is a lot of failures if there are people using money to buy support, which is considered as corruption, as much as buying members of parties in order to achieve a majority. Tun Dr. Mahathir said the government would request a proper investigation should there be evidence that a person won the election through corruption and would call the election invalid. On another matter, Tun Dr. Mahathir reiterated that Tan Sri Muhammad Apandi Ali's position as Attorney General will be looked into and re-evaluated based on the AG's past actions towards the 1MDB issue. We have to look into who the Attorney General is. At the moment, yeah. the Attorney General has uh, uh, well undermined his own credibility. Uh, he, in fact, has hidden uh, evidence of uh, wrongdoings, and that is wrong in law. Back in January 2016, Tan Sri Apandi cleared Dato Sri Najib Tun Razak of any wrongdoing in regard to the 2.6 billion ringgit found in the PM's personal bank accounts, which he claimed was a gift from Saudi Arabian royalty. Various international investigations, however, says the money was taken from the 1MDB fund. Johor Pakatan Harapan has confirmed it has submitted the names of several candidates to the Sultan of Johor
for his concerns for the new Mantri Basar. However, Johor PH Chairman Tan Sri Mohidin Yassin said these names would not be revealed. Tan Sri Mohidin said that his name would definitely not be on the list as he wanted to give the chance to a new face to run the state. Pastinya lebih baik uh, untuk memastikan agenda yang kita nak laksanakan itu dapat dilaksanakan di bawah satu pimpinan yang kukuh, yang berpengalaman. Speaking in Kulai, Tan Sri Mohidin also confirmed that the appointment of the Johor Chief Minister is in accordance with the Johor State Constitution 1895. Sultan Ibrahim consented to the swearing-in of the Johor Menteri Besar, which will be held at 3 p.m. today. The Malacca state government has given its assurance that it would not embark on drastic redesignations and would evaluate the performance of some 8,000 civil servants under the previous administration before deciding on the matter. The assurance is given by Malacca Chief Minister Adli Zahari in response to speculation that a major reshuffle will take place among civil servants once PH takes over the state government. Saya pertegaskan, jangan ada kebimbangan di kalangan pegawai-pegawai sektor awam. Jangan ada kebimbangan itu. Karena bagi kita, uh, apa kita hanya mengubah kepimpinan. Kita bukan merubah uh, struktur sektor awam dan sebagainya. Tidak tidak berlaku begitu. Kita hanya merubah kepimpinan kerajaan negeri. Dan sebahagian kepimpinan kerajaan negeri itu pun duduk dalam 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 sistem demokrasi kita. He spoke during his first press conference as Melaka Chief Minister after he was sworn in for the post. Adli Zahari said he planned to reduce the number of EXCO members but would delegate them with significant portfolios. Adli also revealed that China-related projects like the Malacca Gateway would only be discontinued if it doesn't benefit the locals. The chief minister said the government was built by the people and that his administration is compelled to respond to any of their doubts and discontentments. That concludes this afternoon's edition of News on 2. In our top story, Warisan confident of forming new Sabah state government after securing support from 35 assemblymen. Join us again at 7 tonight for more updates and the latest happenings around the world. Thank you for watching. I'm Cynthia Arthur. Stay tuned to TV2.